Michael Shipman now faces Travis Coy in this round. Will he move on to the semifinals? You'll have to watch and see. And of course, those two will join six other talented riders. You can see a little bit of rain coming down there as well. We talked about that earlier. There's a look at the Lucas Oil Burn Across Ladder. Let's go to the quarterfinals. Coy and Shipman. Oh, good lead, both riders. Fighting for that lane. They are bar to bar. Both of them want the same spot on oh, the state. Oh, and a pass. One of the closest battles we've seen here so far today. Hanging on. You think it's getting a little wet out here? Well, not only that, a little bit of momentum loss with those two got together. And I gotta tell you right now, if Travis Boyd lifts one inch, he could lose us a bit yet. He Don't looks back. To win. <laughs> Look at this, man. I mean, these two guys were dogfighting all the way up there. Shipman really trying hard and Right there, they get together and Shipman takes the worst of the two. Man, I don't have any idea how in the world Coy was able to keep his bike up, but did. Lost a lot of momentum, had to go to a different racing groove. Watch it after this. Post collision, if you will. They'll have Coy to move was to the not right side. Coy was not gonna give it up, man. No, no way, Jose. He takes a different racing groove, and the one thing he had to do was get out of that throttle. Smith, Fox, here we go. Talk about a lead, great huh? hole shot. <laughs> Woo! Fox, all, Fox is running the slalom. Wow. No slalom course here today. That's going to cost him too much. And Smith. Oh! Man, oh, man. Everybody this had the same idea. Did you hear him? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> kind of wow. visions of Dusty Beer that we saw a little bit earlier. That thing flips over, and of course it tags in just a little bit, but this course is becoming quite a handful in this weather. Holy cow, great camera angle. Fortunately, he's A-OK, -okay, man. Here's the run I've got to look at the see. Whitlock in the not-so-good lane, if you will. Whoa! What a race! Man. And this is what the fans love, man. I love it, man. It's cool. There's a lot of money. Slings the roost is going to pick up the win. Big beer, Harold Waddell. Waddell with a hole shot this time. Nick Beer's machine sounded like he was on the rev limiter, like he was on the chip for whatever reason, whether they need to get to another gear, whatever was the case. It looks like the veteran riders are back on top as we head into the semifinals from the Bird Across event. The first pair up is Travis Coy and Jason Smith. Coy has his work cut out for him today if he wants a spot in the final race. Let's get right back to the action. All right, here we go. A total of three races left. We're down to the semifinals. Of course, two races there. We'll find out who's going to go to the final for our final race. Jason Smith and Travis Coy. Coy coming out of a dog fight in the previous round. Smith coming off a great big hole shot victory. Does not get out of the gate first here. With that great onboard helmet shot, is going to make his way second, at least for now, unless something would happen with that bright red machine. Why well, don't give up. You never know what's going to happen. Oh! Oh, we're going to have a pass here at the very last moment. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> Coy hangs on. What a race, man. Oh, what a race. Smith started off in the, and never really got into the lane, if you will. Stayed out of the lane for the longest time. And then all of a sudden, Coy got out of the lane and it opened up the door. Smith almost stole the race. What's crazy is they're looking at each other at the top of that hill saying, who's going to take that strike, baby? Almost like a bracket race. Great shot from the helmet cam. And you can see how steep it is, too, with those guys trying to stand up. By the way, kudos to our camera crew. Oh, wow. Here is going to be a tough one. Two of the best. Waddell just rocket ships out of the game. Right lane, the preferred lane so far today. But the left lane has been producing the winners. But right to here, it appears the right lane gets a little bit better. But not the case this time by. I really thought Whitlock might try background Waddell there at mid.
mid course. All right, let's show you how these two guys made their way to the final round. Takes a total of four rounds. When you start out with a great big field like we did here, you make it down to the final ten. Harold Waddell and Travis Moore will battle it out for the Fur Cross Championship here in California. Good look there at Waddell. And then, of course, Travis Coy is on the other side. And Brian, we've heard these guys say the start is everything. Watch the first bike get off that line without touching that gate. And it is the bright yellow machine. Right here in the middle is where the battle's been going on, though. And this was going to be a good race till right about there. Coy got in trouble. This is all Waddell's to finish up. Harold make that look like the easiest <laughs> round he's had all day long. And I will tell you, our cameraman at gate number five just got roosted right at the very end, too. <laughs> Bad, dude. Taking a beating out here in this weather. But yeah, good battle right there. Coy right beside him and then lost a little momentum right there on that ledge. Anytime you get that foot and that foot hits the ground and comes off of that bag and you lose your balance ever so slightly, that means the next thing you do is lift off the throttle. That's all it took. Waddell, your champ. Congratulations, Harold Waldale. I mean, talk about that run. Looked like you're having a ball out there, but Mother Nature throwing down a little mud on you, too. Yeah, you know, it, it was crazy. I couldn't believe that uh, my bike was hooking up as good as it was. Uh, I just pulled through there and got ahead of everybody, and the key here was basically get ahead of everybody and get in that front line. Mother Nature didn't work with us today, and uh, but I'm glad we got through, and uh, um, it turned out to be a good race, and I come out on top, so I can't complain. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you.